don't yeah. get to see um, used quite a, a lot on the battlefield. And yet he made him, but made it work. He makes a lot of his characters that he picks up work. You know, DK, um, Cloud, you name it, dude. He'll pick it up and he'll figure it out. And right yeah. now, he, he, this is going to be a tough one. A lot of people have been mentioning that they feel as if it's going to be Tweak's as Tweak does have a lot of great knowledge when it comes to Bayonetta. Absolutely. And he's just been on a tear as of recent. Yeah, I mean, he's just, <laughs> the Tweak Bayonetta has been Making people feel some type of way, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, dude, the last event that he won, I believe, was uh, in Arizona Rise. And yep. he did a really good job over there. Mm -hmm. So here it is. He's going to see if he can try to get into the grand final side. Did drop to Cosmos yep. earlier. Yeah. But it's time now for the Bayo Ditto between both of these guys here in the Losers Top 8. Yeah, so let's see what's going to happen. Of course, uh, this Bayonetta Ditto, man, it's very high pace. Yep. Of course, you're going to see a whole lot of crazy comms and whatnot. But I love it because... Again, you want to see from there who's going to have the DI down properly, who's going to have SDI properly. Because even though you can talk about it and say it, not everybody is going to do it because they're so used to playing their character only and not having to deal with that, right? So it's always interesting to see these dittos happen, to see who really understands not only the offensive aspects of the character, but how to play against it. It's so true. That knowledge well, to know how to fight against yourself. You, you could. A lot of people say you are your like greatest opponent, you know, right. when it comes to that. So we're, happy, we're seeing it right here. Tweak taking the lead and a quick witch time, but there's still some invincibility <laughs> okay. on Captain Zack. Yeah, so one of the cool things too is like once you uh, someone goes down, if they do get wish time, you can just go ahead and combo. It doesn't matter about the really. But what the great thing was is Captain Zack did a fair so he can get the clinks. Exactly. And that was what helped him like, get out of that situation for really intelligent stuff there. And again, understanding oh. of the character. Oh, here it is. Oh. Trying to see if we can convert from there. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh I like that, that drop. That knowledge. Yeah, that was good. Oh, oh. And? <laughs> no punish on the ABK. To be continued. Yeah. SD right there from yeah. Tweak. Yeah, potentially he thought he had another wish was going there. You see right there, of course, trying to go for those up throws and noticing how his opponent is reacting to that, yeah. following the DIs, right? Not to be able to lock the opponent down and just keep that damage racking. Here it is, a great interception right there by Tweak with the fair. And you see Captain Zack, it almost looked like he was able to SCI out of there. Yeah. But the ABK still clipped him. But, and that's a certain thing, too, because, you know, you also have to set up in that situation where people will go for the first hit, which twist there. And if they catch them, uh, you know, asleep for the wheel for the first hit, then you're going to be in dangerous position. Great SDI right there. Yep. Man managing to even use a witch twist. Check this out right here by Tweak. Yeah, going up. And yeah, that's going to be it. it. Captain Zach. So that situation was great because, of course, uh, Tweak decided to go for just a straight up SDI from the witch twist. Exactly. Way. Of course, Captain was waiting for that, and went for, which was two. And then because he got the good hit, which was two, he was in a very dangerous situation and was able to get the up air and close up the stock. Which is why, you know, SDI, of course, helps you a lot when it comes to this matchup, but you need to mix it up, right? You can't just keep going for the same one. If your opponent understands where you're trying to go, they might catch you on the wrong SDI, and boom. Yeah, certain percent, sometimes it's just better to go ahead and take the Wish Wish 1, but do in a way where you DI properly. Exactly. So you don't get hit by any of the good ABKs. So you don't get hit with Tipper yep. or anywhere close where they can actually get some extra damage. Exactly. But here it is now, Tweak. Pushing Captain Zack all the way to the left side of the stage, trying to keep up that pressure. And right now, all that pressure that he's exerting is allowing him to get a lot of damage. You know, Tweak, one of the players that we know for such amazing ledge strapping too. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Are we going up? Oh, he's going to just pass with out of that one. Yeah, but put himself in a tough situation right here. Okay, wow, almost a yeah. bit of a trap. You saw that by Captain Zach. Oh, He's going to carry him up to the sides and immediately try to follow the escape option by Tweet going up. You no, know, I, I really like that. Again, he's just being really aware of that uh, Wistress 1 uh, SDI that we're seeing from Tweak, and he's really trying to abuse that uh, de facto DI we're seeing from him. Oh, but there it is. Tweak managing to get out of that situation. We have an up smash right here. Yeah. Take it bear. I saw a wish time come out there too. I wasn't able to get it though. Good interruption right there as you notice um, those advancing fares just stopping the back oh, yeah. air attempts. But there it is up tilt to up air. Really yeah. hard to deal with no, the right there. And I really love that we're seeing a tweaks stellar usage of up tilt. Up tilt is such a dangerous move oh, in Bayonet's right arsenal. Like if you were able to get that, the kind of conversions you got on that are absolutely insane. Those Even at high percents too, yeah. Yeah, really no, good. exactly. They'll confirm. Yeah. You know, you can get those later percents, but even these early percent kills you can get because you get a really high wish twist and you can do a lot of things from there. Or just even go to the up air and then go to a triple jump, go wish twist one and go from there. So, absolutely insane. So, I mean, even that again. But Tweak with the amazing dad just uh, able to still stay alive. But notice how these players are oh, doing such a good job. Oh, yep. like, oh, each other's combos. Still gonna do it. 
unfortunate. Yeah, if you had gotten a tech jump or something there, maybe that would have been situation. But that's going to be a rough one, trying yep. to get out. And now... That was Captain great that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Great SDI by Captain Zack. Allowing him to get back on the ground, and now he put Tweak in this situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's great character knowledge there. You just saw from Captain Zack. You notice how he went down for, he did an extended up air. Because he knew that he'd get the bats within, but he'd be able to punish the bats within. And also get the damage from activating bats within as well. So, great stuff. It is right now, Tweak hanging at the edge. Looking to see if he was going to get an aggressive option with that which time. But now Zack has control of the stage. And him with the shoulder check. Not gonna fall prey to that down there though. Oh, not such at all. insane knockback too. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Those Pradas, man, they're no joke. Crazy trade situation and Tweak able to come back. Almost punish. Both players just dancing around each other right here. They're looking to see if we can intercept, but yeah. Okay, nice stuff right there by Tweak. Escaping the combo yet again. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep, shoulder check again. Yep, just to give him all of that stage, and now we have to check out. Alright, what, what you got from your ledge play? You saw the immediate witch twist from the edge right there, and actually going for the heels, oh, but not such a high percent. Right I there. know that. No this fear. Man, this man is bold. Going so high at Tweak, unable, uh, unable to actually catch that drift right there. You saw the yep. AOE from that dive kick. Wow, bats with it. Oh, I love that. Upper I love not that. Not connecting. Nope, not gonna happen. Uh oh, that jab. That, that was a little scary there from Tweak. Looked like he might have gotten connect. Uh oh, goes up and high. No, way too high for that one. Yeah. Oh, that's a punish. Yep, going down. Yeah, there's the extension the yard. Yeah, <laughs> actually able to get the second game right there. Tied stuff right here between Tweak and Captain Zack. You can see both of these players definitely have a lot of experience against each other, dude. Mm -hmm. Knowledge on each other's play styles, too. No, oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, they play time and time again. So, and it's going to be one of those things when you are so close and you are close friends and you're also teammates and you're rivals. There's so many emotions at play, so many little idiosyncrasies that you know about each other that just make the matches that much more exciting and that much more complex. Oh, absolutely. And I have to say, by the way, you know, a little bit of bias in, in regards to the costume. I do like the Bayonetta one costume that Captain Zack is rocking. Oh, well, I actually love Bayonetta two costumes, so. You like the short hair? Oh, yeah, I'm not the short hair. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, so <laughs> here we go. Game three situation right here, one and one, and the immediate. Oh, here which we time? go. Oh, that's stomp the yard. Oh, yeah. Wow. You see that? <laughs> Can you talk about that? He got the damage, man. Yeah, he did. Move is crazy good, but there it is. Zach just not falling prey to those down tilts right there. Yep. These guys are both respecting each other's hitboxes here in neutral, but there's the opening. Actually able to dash in and get that grab. A lot of times players try to pursue the opponent after that back end from Bayonetta and yeah. they get clipped. And of course, and just great usage from Fair. Was Captain Zach overall, man. He's just been able to use it really great as a reversal tool. And just, he's been able to intercept Tweak time and time again. It's the same, just as I say. Right, the fairs. Yeah. Just been a really big proponent in the matchup so far. Uh oh, but right here, a lot of. He, okay, I thought we were actually going to be able to see a KO here, but instead, Tweak sneaking right back on stage. And now yeah. his forward throw. And bullets? Not quite. Actually, immediately stopping. Oh my gosh, Another get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and the great thing about those bullets, so you can use it as a bait, right? Oh, After absolutely. that shield cancel, people might try to jump high or air dodge and yep. cover low. A lot of opportunities right there for you to react. Nice okay. right there, recognizing the DI. Oh my and God. God. Okay, all right, you're good. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marvel. <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> I don't need much time for know, this combo. So what in the world? Oh my gosh, man. That was a training mode combo, dude. <laughs> Dang, man. I was like, man, that's so cool. I don't think wow. I don't want to land this. Wow. That was that's nuts. That's a clip, man. That that's was a, clip, that's clip, a clap. clap. Uh, yeah, that was clip worthy, I need some man. boutons in the chat. I don't care what you say. You can't tell me that was fresh. <laughs> no, that was you can't nice. tell me I that mean, I concur. Yeah, I concur. Yeah, concur. <laughs> Let's go. Game oh my four. Tweak right now with the lead. Uh-oh. And here it is, Captain Zach. Oh, because there it is. You want it. All right. I couldn't get anything from that, though. Nice. Okay, it's still that pursuit, even after yeah. that impressive DI, but there it is. Cap Zach just always on top of me. He's like, you could keep SDIing out, but yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm on still, hot pursuit yeah. right here. Yep, I'm still landing first. That's exactly right. That's <laughs> what matters most. Yeah. And honestly, that's really where uh, Bayonetta is able to even extend a lot of her crazy damage situations. When you just get those little traps there, because she does have 
through, you know, it's not like a crazy insane vortex, but she's still really good at catching lands. It's just the same as some of these other characters who have very, great offensive output. Oh, she gets great conversions after it as well. I have to say right there, though, uh -oh. and not only a great offensive gameplay like you mentioned, but just great usage of the defensive mechanisms. But right here, of course, with the high percent, it's going to be tough to get out of that situation, as you saw. Yep. That conversion off the ABK with that up air, including Captain Zack in the lead. No, absolutely. Ooh, Ooh okay. Ooh, that was, was kind of nice. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Kicks. And yeah, that's a tough situation right there. When you deal with that down tilt, even if you're dodge the first one, if you're not able to drift away, I mean, you got to take that. Nice yeah. cover right there. Tweak oh, okay. win. Wow, hitting them with the red bottles, man. Oh, wait <laughs> <He's> a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. 68% though, I mean. Oh, uh oh Are we back? This could be a tough spot Are we right back? for Captain Zack. Are we back? Okay, we're back down again. <laughs> oh, my God, man. This guy is... <laughs> Out of control right now. But he does have the rage, so Captain Zack, yeah, I mean, sure. still chilling. Good thing. Wow, but the what a anti. What the, the heck? Did you notice the reaction to yes. He got the up tilt and saw the DI oh, and was like, yeah, I'm just still going to dash forward, react, yeah. and get that back here. So great job to tweak. Oh, Moving man. on in the bracket, and Captain Zack.